Hi, I'm Nancy and this is starting a business. I can't do this. A lot of people think that probably starting a business would be as easy as saying, hey, I know how to do this stuff. No, it's not. Right this week, I happened to call a few friends, a lot of friends, to ask around if there's someone who wants to invest in a very interesting business here in Italy and it's a service for restaurants and bakeries and stuff and I mean in Italy restaurants this business is certainly gonna work because there's no one here doing it at the moment the thing started by selling the machine my dad was trying to sell the machine and he found out that restaurants owners bakeries owners and cooks love the results but they do not have the space for the machine inside their kitchen and so they got an idea starting a business service that will do that thing that the machine is doing for every restaurant that wants this service but they do not have the space for the machine and it's gonna be pretty much everyone because there are also laws and and fines if the oven thing is burned you know it's an healthy thing and they usually get fines and with this machine they will not get fines anymore so pretty much everyone will want it by the way thing is that i called all my young friends because there are incentives here in my region for young people who want to start a business and i called them all and none of them was like interested because of course this is not their passion you know the thing that you should start the business by following your passion hell no i mean you should follow your passion as long as it's a, a side hustle okay do that but to get money you cannot start by following your passion unless you get so lucky that everyone will say i want your paintings i want your stuff whatever it is that you're doing you have to get found to realize your passion your dream you need money to realize a business following your passion because sometimes other people do not care about your passion that's a point that sometimes most creative people forget about or you maybe have to change your passion a little bit or maybe how you're marketing it that's a brand strategy thing by the way if you want to start a business and make money you have to do things that you probably do not want to do you're not passionate about you won't like to do that but if it is gonna be money i mean geez do that this is a, a little very little i mean it's me my dad and my friends and a couple of my dad's friends i mean it's a very little story, an Italian story. But the moral of the story is that you have to be brave and you have to work. And hustle do not mean like sleeping one hour per night and doing everything you can about your passion to make your passion be a business. It's working hard to find out a way to make your passion become a business, a real business. And so I suggest that you take a, a job or start a business which is going to work first and then have your side hustle and start making money with the real job that you have found or the real business that you've started and use those money to create a business with your passion you cannot start with your passion if no one cares about your passion and it's gonna probably take a lot of time to make it a business and to make money out of it and so that's a good idea to start a business that is currently a thing, something that people want, something that you know people will pay for, a product or service, it doesn't matter. The thing is that you will get money to make your side hustle, your passion, become a real business that makes money. You will end up with a lot of money. And I mean, who doesn't like it? By the way, this was not a promotion of the business that I'm trying to, to start with my dad yeah i'm looking for investors but i need people here by the way only two people let's say three people were interested enough to ask me the business plan one is a friend of mine ex-classmate and she's got a business with a lot of business partners in services for restaurants so it might be a vessel another one is a non-profit so they they like find jobs for 
unemployed people. I don't actually know what she's gonna do with it, by the way. She was interested, I mean, she saw the possibility. Another one is my lawyer, who knows a lot of people, so yeah. And another one is a Canadian friend of mine. He is actually from Puglia, I mean, his parents are from Puglia, here in Italy, and he wants to come back. I told him to stay there in Canada because here in Italy is not a good idea. They've got 15% taxes there and we've got from 40 to 70% and so I told him to stay there but he wants to come to Italy, to live in Italy and so he looks like interested in this thing. That's being brave, that's seeing the reality, being pragmatic and seeing things as they are. He probably has got a dream a passion you will have a side hustle maybe by the way he seriously saw a possibility so he's going to invest and invest a lot moving here and he is ready to do that he is ready to take a business something he actually doesn't care about no one actually cares about this thing but, but money will come a lot of money so it's interesting because of money. By the way, that's it. You have to be pragmatic. If you want to make money, you have to do something that is going to work, that people will want and will pay you for it. But you have to know that. You cannot start your passion and hope that someone will come. You have to be sure. You have to look at what people is searching for and maybe wait for that passion to become a business or maybe mold it in a way that will resonate with what people is searching for. And that's it, that's how to start a business. Be pragmatic, know what people is looking for and start a business that will solve people's problem. Three things to start a business. Like the video, subscribe to my channel for more tips and let's make everyone love your business as much as you do. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new quick online marketing tip.